Hi, and welcome to episode 2 of my Let's Play series of Chef, a Restaurant Tycoon game. I'm Icon, and today we're going to try and save our, our little eatery from the brink of bankruptcy, because my earnings are not going well towards my uh, expenses of, get, of the last week. We're, we were only earning uh, 500 bucks and we're our, uh, spending 750 alone on, on rent. So today's topic will be uh, spicing up the uh, recipe, the menu of um, our eatery here and filling it with lots and lots of uh, nice and powerful self-created recipes which bring us bonus points with our desired uh, clientele and more money of course so let's get started um we want to check out again i am um, i want to where was the stats i want to check out what the uh what my peeps want to eat so cheapskates um are not exactly the uh people I want to um, aim for anymore because their expense budget is very very low and I'll rather aim towards the low budget families they're not having too much money either but it's a little bit more and right after the low budget family comes the high budget family and uh, you see there are lots of opportunities for us to take so most importantly it's still meat and carbs which are most desirable things but maybe we want to think about seafood at some uh, to some degree to uh, invite white collars and high budget families in the future into our uh, restaurant. All right, so we need a new appetizer right now. I could go for roasted onions and cheese sauce or a tortilla. So both of these uh, things are, well, hmm. let's see if I can create any recipe which is uh, better than that so grilled fish um, can I sort them under so appetizers uh, I, I just choose the icon or no it's actually can I, I can create a appetizer and a but I can't create a lasagna as an appetizer okay so I want an appetizer um, yeah a sandwich I want something with carbon meat it's just uh, the sautéed rice. It's also only a main course. So let's uh, let's go for the sandwich. I think that's a very very good uh, good start. So uh, we're going to for the carp meat sandwich deluxe. So there we go. And uh, we're going to see here a. Uh, Sandwich, of course, needs at least 100 gram of bread. Well, happy to oblige. So there we go. We're going to fill our uh, our new recipe here with uh, bacon, like the name implies. We're going to bring in some ham, and uh, I'm going to add some sausage. So this is a triple meat uh, thingy. Uh, well, maybe we're we're not going to take the sausage. I don't want a heavy weighty uh, recipe here. So next up, is there any carbs I can put on there? Well, not really. I just wanted to check it out. So next up, we're going to add up some spices. What's a good spice? Some black pepper is always pretty good uh, with meat. And you can, I think this uh, designates that the uh, things are going well with each other. Not sure though. All right, some black pepper and uh, some cumin. Well, no, that's uh, nothing anybody would like. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, margarine. Okay, people don't like margarine on their uh, sandwich. Ah, it's just way too much. Um, what does the uh, the fatness is uh, getting a little bit high here? Maybe we're uh, cutting down the bacon and. Uh, Replacing it with uh, some sausage. There we go. Ham and sausage. Why not? And uh, now I should be able to take that stuff. Of course, not 30 grams of it. 5 grams. Oh, there's a sweet spot here, but uh, it starts to get greasy. I don't want my food to be greasy. So, some ketchup. Is that something people would like? Well... So I really love how this uh, game does uh, 
let you play around with things. So, look here. A bit of sugar is actually something people would like. I only need a bit more now. How about something like lettuce? This is always uh, quite a good thing on a sandwich, no? No, it doesn't uh, change my quality at all. Bit of tomato, maybe. People dislike it with tomato, too. All right, so... Uh, I just want to... Uh, out I want a little bit more than that. So maybe we go for some beef. Well, it uh, makes it a heavy weight already. So maybe we're going to reduce the amount of sausage now. Hmm. Just a tiny bit of bacon. No, it also doesn't work. I just want to get a little bit uh, closer to the uh, mark there. Maybe some cheese. It's also not making anybody happy. Amazing. Maybe some butter? Also not working out I, uh, too well here. So... That is not really a deluxe thing, you know? I'm not happy with it. Put some bananas on it now. Anchovies? Everybody will hate it with anchovies now. Well, whatever. Um, we're going to uh, save that. Um, Maybe we're going to skip the deluxe. So, meat, carb meat sandwich. All right, there we go. So let's put that on the menu. Um, compared to the Quiche Lorraine, that's a lot closer to what the people here actually want to eat. That's carbs and meat. And also we can, uh, how much will I? So it's 136 and uh, triple the amount would be uh, roughly five bucks. So let's make that. Uh, Let's make that four ninety-five. All right. So next up, butter pasta. There's not really anything wrong about the uh, butter pasta. I don't. I, I just think it's uh, a little bit too costly. So we're going to make it like that. The fettuccine alfredo. Well, it's a uh, vegetarian, so it's not really uh, interesting at all. So we're going to see if I can change anything about that. Um, maybe, and there's something I wanted to have too, I want to get some pure um, meat appetizer on the menu. So we're going to create a new and we're going to get some grilled meat as a uh, appetizer. Pure meat intro. There we go. And uh, we're going to just uh, add some beef 100 gram of that. Oh, what's there? Use a meat tacked ingredient in high quantity. Okay, so I'm not sure if it needs to be one ingredient, but we're going to uh, combine that with bacon. No? All right, people are thinking fatness all right so to reduce the fatness i could go for some less fatty uh meat to begin with I'm going to get some chicken here and uh chicken goes well with bacon they say all right then uh we're just going to so it's really helpful to see uh, the uh, combination things here so there's some black pepper and uh, we're going to bring in some um, Oregon. Well, not too happy with my combinations so far. So here I don't have any spices that are uh, going good um, with each other. I could be just uh, adding now some pork to the mix. Yeah, why not? So pork itself goes well with ham. And there we are. Our pure meat intro. Just uh pure meat just like the name implies let's put that onto the uh, appetizer list too so that's a uh, 285 it's a lot uh, costier so we're going to make that uh, 895 for an appetizer that's quite heavy don't mind me all right the fettuccine alfredo um i want to kick it out of the uh things here and uh well the recipe itself is pasta parmesan all right, so we're going to kick out all the uh, things that don't include any meat. 
Well, except for the butter pasta, maybe. Well, yeah, that's okay. All right, so we're going to create some more uh, main courses, including meat. I'm not sure if, we're, if I'm going to open my restaurant during today's episode, so <laughs> we're going to see. Um, there's pasta. Yeah, let's do some pasta. Um, we're going to create some... Um, some spaghetti con carne. You know, we want meat. That's what my people want. Oh, that was the wrong button. Spaghetti con carne. Alright. So obviously we're going to need pasta, fresh pasta, or noodles. So, uh... Fresh pasta is a lot, and, and noodles are a lot costier. We're going to take the cheap pasta because uh, I don't really have the money to uh, spend anything here. So uh, let's see, pasta goes well with, uh, well, pasta has no interactions with any uh, ingredient. It's fascinating. So I'm going to pick the, uh, or I'm going to pick some tomatoes to, to begin with. And we're going to bring some beef into the mix. Because beef and tomato go well with each other, I guess. And uh, we're going to add some bacon with the beef, because I really uh, like the combo. And next up, we're just going to add in some uh, pepper and basil. And uh, my spaghetti con carne doesn't really need much more uh, polish. I don't want to uh, do to over polish my recipes at this point because the people coming to my place are pretty simple people. So we don't need to go super crazy um, with the with the um, recipes here. So let's uh, change the price here to a sixteen ninety five steak and potatoes. Well, I'm going to keep that one. And uh, just like the biopasta. So let's see if I can create one more uh, main menu consisting out of carbs and meat. There's pie meat stew. So we can get that as a main course. Well, grilled meat. Let's put the grilled meat with some carbs. Why not? So let's see. Okay. Doesn't that look nice? All right. Meat and carb. I don't know. I don't really like my ideas uh, of um, naming too much today, but uh, I don't. Know. I don't mind myself. All right. We're going to go for the good old meat, uh, beef, and bacon combo. I really like that one. And I'm um, going to combine combine that hopefully with some nice uh, carb source. So um, bacon goes well with rice and uh, beef doesn't go well with anything here. So we're going to add in a smaller amount of rice. Oh, my, my, my food is already pretty fatty. So uh, yeah, same problem as usual. Beef is uh, combined with bacon just too fatty. So we're going to take that indicator bitterness chicken has a innate bitterness well yeah all right interesting didn't know that um we're going to go for a um combo of turkey and bacon no just want to try and find some ingredients that fit together so chicken and ham so there's always some uh low fat and high fat combo well okay so let's go for some chicken and ham, why not? Gets a lot worse with the amount of uh, chicken included. All right, so the uh, total amount of, uh, of meat must be uh, 150. Use a meat tagged ingredient. So no, sadly no. It has to be one ingredient with a very, very high amount. Oh boy, it's not that easy. I think we're just going to stick with a uh, chicken and uh, let's see what I can do alongside with that. Chicken and bacon go very well uh, together, so we're going to... Where was that sweet spot? That was pretty okay. And uh, we're going to see... We're going to serve that with some rice, just a 
small serving, just uh, 50 grams. And uh, now let's check out the... Is blue especially good or is this especially bad? I think blue uh, shouldn't be uh, any good. All right, so what is it? It's hard to tell. So bacon doesn't like any of those spices, so the recipes go horrible. But I mean, uh, what I'm trying to do here is uh, kind of weird anyway, so let's add in some honey now. Add in some salt now, sugar. That's a uh, nice idea. This, uh, this changes a little bit here. And some salt, okay, why not? That's uh, completely A-OK -okay for me. And uh, since this is such a uh, low cost recipe, I'm very happy with it too. Um, the rest of that, tomato soup has to go. Roast potatoes, and that's uh, also something that has to go. So we're going to add a new soup. Um, meat stew, it's perfect. Icons, simple stew. And uh, we gotta be bringing in meat. And uh, there's always a classy thing if you go for a meat stew like that. And we're going to add in some potato because that always goes well. But uh, really only a small amount, some carrot. And we're going to add in some more meat. In this uh, case, well, which go uh, some bacon, which always goes well with uh, with the beef. And now let's just add some spices to round it up. Some pepper, and uh, we're going to add some sugar and salt. Maybe I should just uh, add the salt more often. Just uh, realized. Well, I'm new to this. All right. So Icon Simple Stew is definitely uh, going on the platter here. Um, we're going to serve that for $7.95. And that's two, four, six, eight, and ten things on the menu. Let's just start today. I think uh, I don't need to do uh, that much many uh, more recipes to begin with. Because uh, we're going to try what uh, will happen in the time between. So butter pasta is still a thing. Let's just hope we're not going bankrupt today. So the game stops when I go into the recipe editor, sadly. Ah, oh, that's a little bit sad. So we're going to add in some uh, some noodle soup because that's a, a two vegetables. Let's go for some potato and uh, tomato. Oh no, no potato. Of course, no potato. Um, I want noodles, so we're going for mushrooms alongside with that, but that's not that many. Why does the uh, sourness increase? I don't understand that. The mushrooms have no sourness on their self on themselves, but they are they are balancing out the sourness of the tomatoes. So I see, I see. Well, we're going to add in some um, noodles into that, and uh, people immediately hate it. All right. So obviously, I need some veg that's uh, going good with noodles. All right, some onion. I need what? 50 gram. Some carrot. And uh, some garlic. That's a very fine choice. And let's see. Is anything of these uh, going well with noodles? No, not at all. So uh, we're going to ruin the recipe by adding noodles in it. Dang. 
That's sad. Vegan, healthy, vegetarian. That's exactly the kind of things we don't want in our uh, in our food. So uh, I'll have to add the noodles to make my uh, to make my people happy here. So there we go. And let's just add some spices to uh, round it up. Just going to uh, keep increasing the uh, amount of uh, noodles to make sure that it is a uh, it is still a thing here. So a tiny pinch of sugar did the trick. All right, there's a uh, it's a healthy lifestyle uh, recipe, but it's also super cheap. So we can uh, put that on the menu for a um, ridiculous price. So we can put that on the menu for three ninety five. There we go. So this will uh, maybe make the cheapskates a little bit more happy, who knows. Alright, so maybe we're going to completely bankrupt today, but uh, either way, let's see what will happen. I'm very inexperienced with this game myself, I only understand the controls, but um, I really like how um, the game works so far. So um, let's see what they're ordering here. So the new recipes are getting ordered and uh, we're getting new reviews. That's uh, very, very good. Selfie is not allowed. No, it wasn't that bad, but I expected more. All right. So uh, the cheapskates hate my pricing like uh, completely now. They consider my place super, super uh, costy now. So let's see if I can... Uh, save something by uh, reducing a few uh, items on the menu here. All right. Because I don't gain anything if uh, people hate my place due to the high prices there. Okay, better. So, we uh, adjusted that. Right now I don't have any other people than cheapskates to serve, so uh, I'll rather serve them well, I'd say. So let's speed it up again. All right. Oh, I, I can already feel the air of bankruptcy over me. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we're doing just fine. So, let's see. Real excellence. All right. A little more and it could be legendary. So... So here the prices are reasonable, and uh, I think uh, now the people are liking the prices more. I uh, I forgot that I can look here oops, on the uh, menu here to see um, how things are going. So do I have any skill points left? Yes, I do. Awesome. So let's learn some more uh, recipes. So dumplings, that sounds perfectly fine for me. And I want to learn something about well what's that stuff it's extra skills well we're going to learn something about fried meat yeah why not and here goes the dumplings oh there's even more funny uh, beautiful things I love this game already. I, I can only say I really, really already love this game. It's so deep and rich. Where are the dumplings again there? Let alone uh, learning all these things here. It makes me quite happy already. So let's see. That means I can now create new things. So let's create a uh, dumpling recipe that's... Uh, Icons meaty dumplings. All right. Oh no! I uh, I screwed it up. I keep clicking the wrong button here, but uh. No. So, where were the dumplings again? There. I really like it how much uh, adjustment I can take here. So they should be brown inside. There we go. So we will need fresh pasta and high quality and high quantity. Yeah, that uh, that makes sense. So we're going to stuff them with some ham and some bacon. 
And then we're going to add in some pepper, some salt, some sugar, just a, oh, there's, uh, there's the proper amount. And, uh, well, shouldn't add more. No, that's perfect. Icons, meaty dumplings, to ser ready to serve. And, uh, there goes another main course. Let's just take care that nobody gets mad about the pricing. Two thirty seven ninety. Yeah, perfect. Okay. I, I mean, I could of course bring in the the other recipes here too. Let's do that. I mean, I grow uh, more and more uh, experience with that. Let's add some fried meat. Some icons, fine fried meats. And uh, that's going to be a side dish or fine side meats. Let's do that. All right, we're going to need meat, of course, 100, uh, 100 gram of that. So I'm going to bring in some turkey, some chicken, and some duck. So next up will be the um, seasoning, and I don't want to uh, waste too much effort with other uh, ingredients here. There we go. It's quite a costly side dish, but uh, if you like it, you can have it, you know? There we go. It's a pure meat dish. Yum. All right. So let's just uh, roll through the rest of the game day. Things I noticed already is my, I've uh, set up way too many tables. Like uh, there, I'm not having that amount of customers the whole time to satisfy this insane amount of tables. I could also think about uh, removing one or two waiter, uh, one of the waiters, because obviously I don't have that much uh, work going on here. So that would be a point where I could be uh, saving some money too. So there are events taking place. We had a good meal. Um, okay, guys, I hate begging people. Yeah. I'm not going to uh, give you guys 50 bucks because your uh, tablecloth is not clean enough. All right. So the uh, people keep being happy, but uh, some cheapskates are happy with the prices and some of them are completely uh, um, blown away by the, in the insanely high prices. So. My biggest problem is my popularity level, I guess. So, I'm really getting to uh, not enough uh, customers inside here. Um, I didn't have uh, more customers at one time uh, at once. Oh well, eleven. Now it's getting a little bit more. But the amount of money I'm earning here is. Uh, really not um, sufficient. So did I gain ingredient points? So that's something uh, I really feel like the game could and should do a little bit better. I feel like I'm not getting informed at all about my uh, character leveling. And obviously, well, maybe I... Did I leave ingredient points open? Can't imagine, weird. So, you can't ask people to pay that much. All right, people are freaking out about the prices in general. So, uh, we're minus 700 bucks today, and uh, we earn less money today than, uh, than yesterday, even though we uh, in had an increase in popularity. But uh, people are thinking my prices are, are way too high. 
So that's uh, really, really terrible. And obviously I'm not getting the ambient, Ambiente rating in to uh, satisfy higher um, tiered customers. So yeah, I would need to invest somehow now and uh, Let's see, is there any option for me to uh, do something about that? Okay, I, I actually over-invested, but is there anything like uh, a loan or so such? My balance is really bad. Orders, recipes. So, quite interesting to see okay so I'd really need to uh, impress the people here more so is there any chance maybe can I uh, sell some of that furnishing yeah we can <gasps> yeah that saves us Okay, so what I want to do here is uh, reduce the amount of tables and increase the amount of decor. Because uh, obviously people are hating my um, decorations or, well, not hating, but uh, there are still not enough people coming to my place. I want to change that. So, the lower class family does not like this uh, ambience too much. So uh, what should I do? Modern? I can't think that the uh, lower that the lower class family likes modern. Why don't they like rustic things? Elegant can't be the thing either. So I'm going to drop down uh, some of that ambience. Yeah, that's something the lower class family doesn't like at all. And uh, let's take one classic sideboard yeah the lower class family loves elegant uh, ambience I see so the vegans and the gourmets and the blue colors love rustics ah oh, that's what I did wrong there I see so um, I'm at least attracting lower class families so let's see next episode if Icon's eatery can survive one more day um, or one more week. I'm saying thanks for watching again. I'm having so much fun with this little game. It might be that after episode three we have to restart with a new restaurant because I uh, have to um, use my newfound knowledge in a, on a new place. But if that might, been the might be the case, then we all learn to get something together. I hope, my friends, you had some good fun. I did. And uh, uh, here, here is the stuff to see. All right. And uh, feel free to drop me a comment down below if you have anything on your mind. And uh, if you want to support this series, leave it a thumbs up. And if you want to support me as a content creator, drop a subscription down below. It means so much. You can't imagine how much. And if you do, you might already have subscribed. But whatever you do or whatever you don't do, I wish you a wonderful time and uh, see you guys then. Goodbye.